This week, we're going to take a look at the Weather Prediction Center surface bulletins and how you can interpret them using MetPy. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, I'm John Lehman, a software engineer for Unidata. This week, I want to look at another new feature of MetPy, which is Weather Prediction Center Bulletin Parsing. So the Weather Prediction Center issues many products, but one of them is the Coded Surface Bulletin, which looks something like this blob of text here. Now, just from looking at it, we can get the idea that it describes locations of highs, lows, shapes of fronts, and so on. But like a METAR, it's a little bit difficult to read to just a plain human eye. Now, of course, they've got a description on their website of how to interpret this, and you can get pretty good at it. But what's even better is we can have MetPy parse it for us and then use the frontal plotting techniques that we talked about last week and actually make a current surface conditions map. So to get started on that journey, we're going to parse the bulletin and just explore it a little bit, see what information's in there, and we'll get ourselves set up to make a map. All right, so over my notebook, I'm going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, import urllib.request. And we're not actually going to get to a map, but we're going to get the data brought in and do a quick little histogram. And next week we'll get to the map, so I'm not going to worry about Cartapy yet. For metpy.io, I'm going to import the parse WPC surface bulletin. And I'm going to import from IO the bytes IO object. All right, so we could go out and get the surface bulletin from the internet, copy and paste it in here, or save it as a file, but we can do better. We have URL lib. So I'm going to get the URL, which is https www.wpc.incep.noa dot gov slash discussions slash codsus. I'm going to use a context manager, which you can do with URL lib. So with URL lib dot request dot URL open our URL as response. That's going to manage closing that out for us. When we go out of scope with the context manager, the content is going to be response.read. We can look at that content, and we see that it's just a byte string of all the text that we would see on the website. Coded surface frontal positions, WPC, College Park, a valid time, and then we get right into the highs, lows, troughs, and so on. So we could write a parser ourselves, but luckily MetPy already has one built in now. It's going to return a data frame, I'm going to call parse WPC surface bulletin. And it's going to expect a name of a file or a file like object. So I'm going to use bytes.io to wrap my content to make it look like a file like object. And now, if we look at that data frame that's returned, we see we have 139 rows and four columns of data. We have the valid time, what type of feature it is, the strength of the feature. And then the geometry of that feature, whether it's a point like a high or a low, or whether it's a series of points making a line like a trough or a front. Now we can look in here and see what types of features we have. I'll look at feature.unique. And we see we have a high, low, trough, cold, occluded front, warm front, stationary front. So we know how to plot all of those from last week's video. So in next week's video, we're going to mash all of that together and get current surface observations and plot them on a map using different line stylings. But one thing that I thought would be kind of fun to look at this week is, well, how many of each of these features do we have? So I'm going to use the value counts method. And there are a surprising number of highs and lows. 29 lows, 24 highs. So I was curious, what does the distribution 
of the surface pressure, or what they call the strength, look like? So let's make a plot. I'm going to create a figure and an axis using plot.subplots. For the strength of the lows, in my data frame, I want all the rows where my data frame feature data series it says it's a low. And I want to get the strength values. And we can copy and paste that. The high strength is where it's a high. Now we just have to make a histogram of low strength. And we'll obviously make those red. I'm going to give them a little bit of an alpha so they're slightly transparent. And a label of lows. and high strength. The color is going to be tab blue. Alpha is 0 0.7 and label is highs. All right, so we've got our plot. We'll look at it in a little bit more detail. But it's not really a complete plot yet because we don't have any labels. We don't know what we're looking at unless we had just made this code. So I'm going to go ahead and add a legend. I'm going to set the X label to be pressure in hectopascals. Y label to be count. And the title to be current, low, and high strengths. All right, so that's a little bit better. So we can see that we've got a large grouping towards the center, towards that 1,010 to 1,020 range, as we would expect. There's a tail off towards the edges, with the highs obviously being higher than that mean and the lows being lower. So I hope that you found this useful and that you'll be able to extract information out of these current frontal position files from the WPC. So next week, we'll take a look at how to take these files and turn those geometries into arcs on a map. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.